welcome back and I've got another fun and rather unusual experiment to show you today. What we're going to be looking at is standing waves in gases using Rubin's tube. So we've got our Rubin's tube lit now and I've turned the gas pressure down because that works better with a speaker and amplifier of this sort of power. And what I'm going to do is send some sound waves up and down the tube. So they'll come from a loudspeaker at this end and they're going to reflect off the far end and come back again. And those sound waves are traveling within the gas within the tube. So let's turn on the signal generator and see what happens as I play sounds of different frequencies. So let's see if we can explain what's happening here. So I'm sending sound waves of a specific frequency down the tube. They reflect off the far end and come back again. So what we've got is two wave fronts meeting head on of the same frequency. And they will constructively and destructively interfere inside the tube, which is full of gas. Now, what you'll see, therefore, is a standing wave pattern forming. And you might have seen my other video on the rubber cord experiment, which shows standing waves. This is similar, but the uh, reasoning behind it is slightly different. So let me turn it on again, and I'll show you what the difference is from the standing waves you may have seen on rubber cords. So let's turn up the signal generator and find a frequency there we go, that produces a really nice pattern. And uh, what you can do with this is you can work out uh, the speed of the waves in the tube if you know their wavelength. So you can look at a place here and to the next similar place and work out the wavelength from that. And if you know the frequency on the signal generator, that's not what we're gonna do today. We're just sort of uh, demonstrating this apparatus. Now, the tricky bit of this is, and the analysis of what's going on is actually quite complex, but normally when you see a point like this on a rubber cord, you call that an anti-node. That's the point of maximum vibration. In the case of this setup, that flame is burning nicely because it's at gas pressure. So here is actually a nodal point. The gas isn't oscillating. Whereas at the places you don't see very much flame, the gas pressure is going up and down and up and down and up and down. So these are actually the antinodes. So we've got an antinode, a node and an antinode of the sound wave shown by the height of the gas flames. So I do hope you enjoyed that experiment and learned a little bit more about standing waves in gases. I'll be making another video soon and I look forward to seeing you then.